Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Autobiology Bits. And today I have with me a guest that I'm, I'm actually excited to talk to more than probably, you know, anyone in, in quite some time because she loves to talk about mitochondria and, to my surprise, algae. She is one of the leading ex experts on algae, and <laughs> specifically, um, her brand is called Energy Bits. She is the founder, CEO, and chief scientific officer of Energy Bits. And hey, Catherine, welcome to the show today. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm so gr you know thrilled and grateful to share my knowledge. Uh, th almost 13 years of geeking out on the science of algae, and it's a it's a it's a specialty. But um, uh, I'm so delighted to share it with you because we're going to turn your you're going to you're going to be dazzled by what algae does. People think algae is pond scum and I, and when you find out what it does, it is a nutritional rock star, like serious rock star. This is Mick Jagger rock star equivalent. So um anyways, it's it's I'm so excited to share that with you. So hang yeah. in there everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So um you know, when I talk to people, I talk to a lot of people about biology and and my thing is always, you know, learn your own biology, but also understand kind of the basics about biology. But, you know, the basics are actually really cool if you think about it. But the but the pushback I get sometime is, Jen, all I want to do is I want to figure out the easiest, least stressful way to get healthy as quickly as I can. And, you know, I struggle with that, Catherine, because you know, I, you know, I immediately think, well, you got to, you know, change your diet. You got to think about this, 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 this. And when I learned about <laughs> all the, of the benefits of energy bits and I started going through all of your scientific data, I thought, oh, my God, this is one of those things. This, this I can it. tell. Yeah, this is <laughs> one of my answers that I can be like, here's what you do. If you only do one thing, do this. And and. And I, I'm going to point them to you and your product. Well, uh, yeah, I'm so glad to hear you say that because <clears throat> that's what I tell people is because it, it, it is so confusing out there with all these different diets. And, you know, most people are telling you what not to do. And I'm here to tell you one simple thing that you can do, which is why I like al I love algae so much. And it, it, it is effortless wellness, effortless nutrition. If you can swallow water, you can get all of your health needs met, all your nutritional needs met in a second. And we'll we'll dig into that in, you know, as we go through the podcast. But uh, not only is algae the most nutritionally dense food in the world with hundreds of proven health benefits, everything from ranging, proven, I'm telling you, from stopping cancer, stopping Alzheimer's, um, improving gut health, reducing inflammation. And yet it's effortless. You don't need to doctor's prescription that's not invasive. You just swallow some of these tablets. We're going to show you um, later on You know how, how tiny they are. They're about the size of a baby aspirin. This is spirulina and this is chlorella. But if you take uh, at least 10 of those a day of each one, your health will turn around. Your chronic disease will disappear. And, um, and I know it sounds crazy and I sound like a, you know, uh, you know, some kind of shill person, but it is just it's unbelievable. It's a gift from Mother Nature. It's been here for 4 billion years. And it's time that algae does what it's here to do, which is to heal our world. Uh, and it does it with nutrition. I know that you are really uh, well-versed on mitochondria. And I, I, I would like to start there because I think what I have learned in the last couple of years, especially when dealing with COVID, is people, the amount of mitochondrial dysfunction that people have and they don't even know it is, it is really why we were hit so hard, I think, with COVID. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, I, and I definitely want to spend most of my time talking about the mitochondria. It, it, would it be okay if I help people understand what algae is first? Yeah, absolutely. Because then when we get to the mitochondria, you'll start to understand why it's so perfectly um, suited for your body. So first of all, I want people to know that algae is not a supplement. It is a food. Now, algae, first of all, was the first life on earth almost 4 billion years ago. <clears throat> Before algae, earth was just gas and water, no oxygen, no life. 
Nobody knows why um, algae started growing. It was a cyanobacteria like spirulina. And then it released so much oxygen on earth within a billion years, other life forms could form and then other life forms and then eventually us. <laughs> but it's been here for a long time and it's everywhere. Algae is in the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the streams, your swimming pool, your aquarium. <clears throat> There's two main types of algae. One is called macroalgae, which is seaweed. It's that stringy stuff that washes up on shore. It's called seaweed because it's only in the sea and it has high fiber and lots of iodine, but virtually no nutrition. We're not talking about that today. We're talking about the other type of algae, which is called microalgae. Seaweed is macroalgae. Microalgae is microscopic in size, something like a million uh, microalgae could fit on the head of a pin. That's how tiny it is. I mean, really microscopic. And this is what feeds the animals, the fish, the whales, the everything. And there are tens of thousands of strains of microalgae everywhere. Two of the most well-known are green algae and blue-green algae. Blue-green algae has two pigments in it, a blue and a green one, and green algae just has the green one, which is chlorophyll. Now, when we're talking about the two algae today, we're talking about spirulina, which is one type of blue-green algae, and chlorella, which is one type of green algae. Now, you may read on your on the internet about a blue-green algae closing your favorite beach. We're not talking about spirulina. That's just another strain of blue-green algae. And by the way, poor algae gets the bum rap because everyone gets angry with the algae, but algae only shows up to clean up the toxins. Algae kills bacteria. So somehow toxins, whether it was from runoff from an agricultural plant or a processing manufacturing plant or just people peeing in the water, there's toxins in the water and algae shows up to kill the bacteria. Now you don't see the toxins, but you see the algae. So, um, and algae, by the way, will kill the same bacteria in your body that it does in the water. And we'll get to that in a little bit longer. So uh, in a few minutes. So first of all, algae is food and the algae that we sell and that you would buy from Whole Foods or Target, spirulina and chlorella, they're grown in fresh water, not the ocean. So it's food, and it's grown in fresh water, hydroponically like tomatoes or lettuce. And we call ours bits, our little tablets, bits, because they are bits of food. So number one, you're not eating a supplement because you can't eat these. Most people just swallow them. So after we grow it in fresh water, we air dry it into a powder, and then we press them into these little tablets that are about the size of a baby aspirin. Now, spirulina and chlorella have different benefits, and we'll, we'll go into those in a minute. But I want you to know that either one of them have, are so concentrated in nutrition that one tablet has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables, about a pound of vegetables. You may say to yourself, well, how do I come up with that calculation? Well, we have a quote from NASA that says, one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of vegetables, one to a thousand. So I did the math and that's how I figured out that one tablet has that much nutrition. Now, one of the reasons I love algae so much, I got into this because my younger sister had breast cancer and her she's fine now, but her oncologist told her to change her diet to an alkaline diet, which turned out to be a plant-based diet. And I helped her research what that was. And then I changed my career into you know teaching people about plant-based nutrition, but I found out it was too much work for people to eat vegetables and salads all the time. So I thought I have to find something that's fast and easy to get them the nutrition they need, but without any work. Ta-da! And you that, don't need to yes. go to the grocery store. You don't need to cook this, clean this, argue with your kids, argue with your parents, throw out all the stuff that goes bad. That and disappears. There you go. All you yep. need, uh, you know, we recommend at least 10, but you could start with five. I have like 50 uh, or 100 a day, but that gives you that. And now mothers who have children, you never have to worry about your kids not getting the nutrients that they need or your husbands who aren't, you know, men traditionally don't like vegetables, or as you get older, it's hard to digest them because of the, a lot of fiber gives people gas. So this saves you time. This saves you money. It's effortless nutrition, effortless. That's why I have to emphasize it has the highest concentration of protein in the world. We have a quote from NASA that says one gram of algae or, um, that uh, uh, spirulina algae is the answer to world hunger because it's 64% protein. Just as a comparison, chicken or, or beef is 22. So it's three times the amount of protein as steak. And also animal protein is all bound up in 
amino acids that can take days for you to digest, and very often you only absorb 5% as aminos. <clears throat> then you have collagen, which are in pe what's called peptides. These are clusters of aminos, so they get into your bloodstream faster. But algae, all of the protein is already in amino acid form, so it's effortless for your body to absorb it. It doesn't have to break down the bonds. This can take three days. This could take three hours. This takes three minutes. So it, you can see how efficient it is. And also algae is a complete protein. It has 18 of the 20 aminos, including the nine that your body can't make. Collagen powder is not a complete protein. It does not have tryptophan. So algae is 40 vitamins and minerals, highest protein in the world, also has the highest chlorophyll in the world. And you may say to yourself, what's so important about chlorophyll? Well, here's your blood com chemical composition, and here's chlorophyll. They're virtually identical. The only difference is your blood has iron in the middle, and that's what carries oxygen in your blood. When you get chlorophyll, you are building your blood. It's that simple. And when you have healthy blood, and this happened with COVID, you have a healthier body. You have a healthier immune system. Everything works better. But the problem is our food supply, even if you are eating vegetables, the, our soils are so damaged that you aren't getting chlorophyll. You aren't getting nutrients anymore. You're getting fiber and calories. You are not getting nutrition. Chlorella algae, which is one of the two algaes we're going to talk about, has 500 times more chlorophyll than arugula. You could eat a room full of arugula. A, I don't care if you're in a 2,000 square foot home. You would not get as much chlorophyll as what's in this little container in a in 2,000 square foot room. It's just impossible. My arugula goes yellow after about three days. Why? Because there wasn't much chlorophyll to start with. So this is the highest concentration of chlorophyll. This even has 25 times more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll. And I want to show you something else that's really cool about chlorophyll. I would take a couple of the tablets. We'll talk about the two algae in a minute. This is spirulina, blue-green and this is chlorella, a green algae. <clears throat> I put some of the tablets in a dish with water and look at the beautiful blue color that disperses evenly through the water. That pigment is called phycocyanin and it has amazing healing properties, including, by the way, stopping the uh, COVID virus from entering your, um, your cells because it intercepts at the ACT, ACE2 receptor cell, stops the growth of blood vessels to tumors. Those are two pretty important things that that blue does. But look how beautifully dispersed it is. And then I would do the same thing with chlorella, which is just one pigment, just chlorophyll. See how it doesn't disperse like this one does? I finally found out why. The blue pigment in spirulina is a water-based pigment. That's why it has healing properties that are related to your blood and to your plasma. Chlorophyll is a fat-based pigment. This is why it is so healing. We all take vitamin D and vitamin A to heal our cell walls, which are made of fats. But chlorophyll is also a fat that heals your cell walls. So chlorophyll is now building your blood and it is but building your cell walls. And those are the two first most important things that you have to manage properly to ensure your health. Because if your cell walls aren't permeable, then nutrients can't get in and toxins can't get out. And that causes um, oxygen to be dispersed. Your, 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 uh, your cells become more acidic, which is why I got into all this. It attracts bacteria. It attracts cancer. It's just a bad scene all around. So you want to be sure that your cell walls are healthy so that this, can, this activity can occur on a regular basis. Now, um, I'll give you a quick summary of the two algae, and then we'll dig into the mitochondria, because what they do for your mitochondria and why you need to know about your mitochondria is so important. So remember I showed you the two, the two tablets? So right. this, one's, this one's spirulina. See how much darker it is? Right. It's, it's chlorella. It's a green algae. Now, we call our spirulina um, energy bits because spirulina has been known to be very energizing. It gives you um, physical energy, mental energy, and also mitochondria energy. And we'll, we'll talk more about the mitochondria in a minute. But the way it gives you energy for your brain and for your body is because, as I mentioned, it has the highest protein in the world. And all those amino acids are uh, individual. So they are absorbed instantly. And even better, spirulina is a bacteria. Remember I said 
Um, cyanobacteria was the first life on Earth four billion years ago, and we'll circle back and talk about how important that is in a minute. So there is no cellulose wall. There is zero fiber in spirulina. So again, there's nothing for your body to break down to get access to the aminos. Now, spirulina is also loaded with B vitamins. B vitamins are what convert glucose and aminos into energy. So, and it's loaded with essential fatty acids like omega-3 and boron that helps with your thinking. And it's a vasodilator, which opens up your blood vessels. So over and 40 other vitamins and minerals, all the, all the electrolytes. So athletes, um, uh, you know, busy people at work, uh, anytime you want any kind of focus or physical energy, this is your answer. By the way, both algae um, are ketogenic. They have zero carbs, one calorie per tablet. So we, you know, if you're doing intermittent fasting, and I encourage you to do that, um, you can take 5, 10, 20 of these. If you took 10, your hunger would be gone for hours. Zero decrease in your ketones, zero increase in your glucose. It's fantastic for diabetics, or if you want, or if you're pre-diabetic, or if you're in weight loss, because one calorie, you can be. Then you can have some more for lunch if you want. We have very busy doctors who don't have time for a meal. They'll get up in the morning and they'll have, you know, ten or twenty of these to get started, and they have like another twenty or thirty during the day, and then they go home and have a, a you know a full-on meal. But this has all the nutrients you need for the day. Crazy, right? That That is crazy. And I, you answer one of my questions because I do, I intermittent fast almost every day. I, and I don't cycle on and off because I felt, I found that that doesn't work for me. And so I was wondering like when to take the energy bits, uh, with the intermittent fasting. So that, that was, uh, that was a great, um, call out there for me. And, and uh, and we'll talk about chlorella in a minute, but it doesn't satisfy your hunger uh, or give you that focus that you get from the spirulina. Um, it has amazing other benefits, and I'll get into that in a minute. But um, truly, and, I, and I'm the one that I did a research, I'll send you the link to it. I, I did some research and found out that the nutrient profile of spirulina is virtually identical to mother's breast milk nutritional profile. The same wow. amino acids in the same proportions. And this explains to me why in Japan, if babies are born and they can, uh, especially preemies, and they can't digest mother's milk, spirulina in water is the only thing that keeps them alive. This is the, wow. at least ours, is the safest, most nutrient dense food in the world. We do third party lab tests here in the United States at an FDA approved lab because we sell, we're the only algae company that sells through doctors, naturopaths, homeopaths, um, cryotherapy centers, biohacking centers. They have to know that there's no toxins and that it's pure because um, they recommend it to their patients. So you could give this to newborns, to your children, to your teenagers, to your pets. Pets love this stuff. It's unbelievable. Really? Unbelievable. Dogs and cats go crazy over it. And they, you know, quite honestly, they're smarter than most of us. So <laughs> <laughs> um, when they know that it's healthy for them, um, you know, they'll, they'll love it. So it is Amazing. Now, when we get to the mitochondria, I'll talk a little bit more about the cellular energy. So you could also take this, we recommend the chlorella before bed, but you could take this before bed because it. what it does is it gives you energy at the cellular level. Now, what you decide to do with that energy is up to you. You could decide that you want to go for a run. You will have the best run ever. You'll go longer, you'll go faster, and you won't even notice it. On the other hand, if you just want to sit down and read a book, um, you'll just be more focused uh, and you'll be more alert. It's not a stimulant kind of energy. It's, in fact, if you might not even notice it. You just feel alert and awake and you're not hungry. And uh, that's that's a nice feeling. It's it's just, you feel fresh. That's the best way. And then if you want to do something more, you know, targeted athletically or or mentally, you've got the juice. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I, I, you know, I have to say, one of the things that surprised me the most was, you know, I, I guess I always thought of this as more of, of a supplement, but when I started reading your material and, and again, reading the research and understanding that it's actually a food source yes, and that you can literally live on it, yep, that, that blew my mind. I know, I know. I, and, and in fact, I think in several places, you know, you, you say if you're using it as a meal replacement, you know, here's our recommended, you know, amount for that. And once again, I'm, I'm just, 
I'm just thinking of all those people that say, Jen, what is the easiest thing that I can do to turn my health around? Like, I, I mean, I, I, I'm so excited, Catherine, because I feel like I can go back to all those people, you know, especially on my, um, on my TikTok account, because that's where I get the most questions. Yeah. Um, you know, and to say, Hey, this is it, you guys, you know, this, you know, it, it yeah, it's, it's I'm so excited. Effortless. Well, and also, uh, we work, we work with, um, uh, gastric bypass doctors, because when you have gastric bypass surgery, your, your stomach is smaller. And what they were finding was that their patients could not eat enough food Calories. to get the nutrients that they need to be healthy. So this solved the problem in one little tiny, well, hopefully they take five or 10, they get all yeah. the nourishment that they need. And, and it was, I never thought of that as a micro market segment, but this will help so many people. I, I can't even begin to tell you. And all of us have parents and as they get older, they're, they don't cook as often and they have a more restricted diet. And if they're in a nursing or assisted living uh, center, as my mother had been, the stuff they serve them tends to be white and mushy. And there's just not any nutrition in there. And yep. if you gave the, your parents, uh, if they're over 60, you know, two of these a day even, that's more nourishment that they probably get all week. Um, if I do my job right, you know, in five or 10 years, might take 10, could take longer, who knows. This will be in school lunches. It'll be everywhere. Um, and uh, because it, 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 and by the way, it's also the most eco-friendly sustainable crop in the world. No digestive issues, period, with spirulina. So it's so safe and easy to take. And it's been used, both of them have been used, I didn't mention this, for 70 years in Asia. It's a multi-billion dollar agricultural crop there. It's as big as the beef industry is here. It's enormous. In Japan, you can't ride your bicycle without driving by an algae farm. But people say, well, if it's so fantastic, why don't I already know about it? Exactly, exactly. And this is why it's not grown in America. We have corn and wheat, which are useless nutritional crops. You get one crop a year and they're inflammatory and they're usually um, loaded with uh, glyphosate. And it, it's there's no nutritional redeeming factor for any of them. And yet algae is grown, only takes a month to grow. You can get 10 crops of algae a year. It's grown in fresh water, so it could be grown anywhere, really, where it's warm, or in, 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 increasingly they're growing it indoors. But anyways, the, uh, the thing is you didn't grow up with it. And because 99% of it is grown in Asia and 99% of it is consumed in Asia, it's like the French, they keep the best wine for themselves. Yes. The Asians have known about this forever. And in Japan, they have the lowest cancer rates, the best longevity, uh, lowest obesity rates, and great skin and hair. And they do not leave their house without chlorella algae. Never. They don't take supplements in Japan. They take chlorella algae, which is probably a good segue to talk about chlorella. But you know, why should the Asians be the only ones benefiting from this? Um, it's been sold in America for 50 years, but it, the packaging has been weird. It, the, there's no branding. There's been no education. I am the first person to tell you about algae. And, and think about it. 10 years ago, you probably didn't know about chia or kiwa or matcha or collagen powder uh, or CBD. But these are things that have existed for centuries in other countries. And the indigenous people have been using you know, kiwa forever. And same with algae. I mean, the Egyptians wrapped themselves in it 2,000 years ago, and the Mexicans used it in, you know, 500 years ago. So it has quite a history, but in America, nobody knows about it. So actually, almost outside of Asia, very few people know about it, but it has been available, but no one has really made it easy for you to understand what it is and why it works and to give you a safe pure source of it. Because up until now, um, almost everything in, in, in America came from China. We grow ours in Taiwan, which is world renowned for having the highest quality. And as I said, we do all the third party lab tests. But but anyway, spirulina, uh, I mean, it's been endorsed by the United Nations since 1974. That's almost 50 years ago, 50 yeah. years ago, as the answer to world hunger. You don't get any better endorsement than that. And you, and the NASA has been feeding it to the astronauts for 50 years. Like there's these little narrow pockets of people who know all about 
the science of algae, but they're not sharing it with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's actually my uh, complete purpose in life, Catherine, is to share all of this knowledge. So I'm I'm right there with you. I'm going to do what I can. Um, I'm telling you, like, if you're related to me or a close personal <laughs> friend, guess what you're getting for Christmas? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know. Yes. It's, anyway, it's health. Well, so so now, yeah, spirulina, very energizing, high, high, high in protein, um, great for satisfying hunger, great for helping with intermittent fasting, losing weight, uh, nourishing. You can wipe out like multivitamin, CoQ10, fish oil. Please stop taking fish oil. It is rancid by the time you buy it. And where do you think the fish get the omega three from? Yep, from algae. algae. So, yeah. so you know, save yourself, save the oceans. Uh, you can clear out about five vitamins. When you take spirulina, I'm now, very I'm, excited about that. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Now, chlorella also a an algae, but it's a green algae, which is why it's packaged in green. And it showed up on Earth a billion years after spirulina, and it does belong to the plant kingdom, which is why we have a picture of a, a leaf on the bag. So, in fact, um, spir chlorella has the hardest cellulose wall in the plant kingdom. Spirulina has none. Chlorella, its brother, has the hardest. Okay. You know, like kids, they always want to be unique, right? Yes. <laughs> so why is that important? Well, that hard cell wall attaches to toxins. All the heavy metals, lead, mercury, radiation, um, spores from um, mold, uh, lime, uh, alcohol, lactic acid, it chelates them and pulls them out of your body. So that's why we call the, this algae recovery bits because it helps you recover your health. I read a statistic a while ago that said the average uh, American has 800 toxins in their body. 800. The, our, our immune systems were not built to sustain that kind of toxic load. So that toxicity, you've got to clear that out. And even if you were living in a bubble and didn't have any exposure to toxins, which we know is unlikely, your body is constantly rebuilding itself. I mean, that's the good news. The bad news is where do you think the old dead cells go? Because we have 30 trillion cells and literally every day, 30 trillion new cells uh, are, are, are being built. And if you don't clear out the old dead cells, they sit there and gather bacteria and attract cancer. And so you have to clean out the toxins from the outside and the dead cells from the inside. So the way I help people understand that is, you know, we take a shower on the outside every day. So taking chlorella is like giving your body a shower from the inside. Uh. So I don't want you to think, oh, well, I'll, I'll do a detox once a year. No, 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 no. This is a daily thing. And I promise you that when you do it on a daily basis, your health, your immune system will improve your skin, your digestion. Speaking of digestion, they use this for IBS and Crohn's disease, any kind of gut issue. And they've used it for historically for 50 years because the hard cell wall attaches to toxins. It has the highest chlorophyll in the world. Remember I said spirulina has the highest protein in the world, three times the amount of protein at stake. This is the one that has the 25 times more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll, 500 times more than arugula. Chlorophyll is very nourishing, cleansing. It kills bacteria, improves your breath. Anybody who's a carnivore, you need this because um, there's so much bacteria in your mouth and in your stomach because of all that meat. You need to clear out those that bacteria. And even if you're a vegan, you still need more uh, chlorophyll. So the chlorophyll, uh, very high, the, to the hard cell wall that pulls out toxins. And chlorella also has some really unique um, nutrients that are very healing. As your daily requirement of a vitamin called K2. Now, K2 is related to K1, but it's different. What K2 does is it pulls out excess calcium from your soft tissue. That's your skin, your brain, your heart, your organs, and moves it into your bones. The problem is virtually everybody is deficit in K2. So this gives you your daily requirement. So this will build your bones. For ladies, it will help prevent osteoporosis, um, and it will keep you your skin radiant because excess calcium, just like free radicals, damage your elastin. Um, your elastin is the structure that keeps your skin taut. And so when it gets damaged, it collapses and that causes wrinkles, that and decreased collagen. So, the, um, and also this has the highest tryptophan in the world, which is a precursor to melatonin. It has the second highest 
amount of melatonin in the world, second only to spirulina. We'll talk about that in a minute. Melatonin does far more than just help you sleep, but the melatonin that's in here will help you sleep. It's also loaded, has the highest RNA and DNA in, in, in the world. So um, that re- it helps to restore your, your cells that get damaged from all those free radicals, which we're going to talk about in a minute. So overall, this is a wellness and cleansing and detoxing algae. So we generally recommend it before bed because when you sleep, your body goes through a detox repair cycle. So while you're getting your beauty rest, uh, you got the cleanup crew in there cleaning out all the plaque in your brain, all the aluminum, cleaning out all the toxins through your cells, um, helping restore the healthy cells. And then it also stimulates peristalsis, which is a bowel movement. So in the morning, you get rid of all that junk that you didn't need, junk in your trunk. I tell people, you know, if you don't clean out your garbage that's in your body, it's like, you know, if you haven't taken your garbage out from your home for three or four days, it starts to get pretty smelly, right? Same thing is happening in your body. You're just not aware of it. So so this is a very healing algae, very re- a recovery algae versus spirulina, which is very nourishing and energizing. So they do quite different things. Um, and in both cases, if you took 10 of these in the morning and 10 of these before bed, you would get your um, your energy and your wellness. For detox, you need closer to 20 or 30 of these. Now, the good news is, these taste pretty good when you eat them with um, sea salt or macadamia nuts or pistachio nuts. Those are two nuts that have very low lectin. So those are the two I generally recommend. Yeah. So now you can have like a little snack before bed. Spirulina, most people swallow it because it there's nothing you can really do to take it, make it taste better. <laughs> yeah. I, I, do, I actually like I like eating the chlorella tablets. I like yes. the flavor. It's yes, like I kind of nutty. It's very nutty. It's like a sunflower seed or yes. a soy nut. And I promise you, uh, my favorite flavor for pistachio nuts these days is salt and vinegar. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and so when you eat them with the salt and vinegar, it's delicious. And if you want to up level one more, okay, macadamia nuts. And you will think you're eating potato chips. It's crazy. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's a, it can be a healthy snack. Now, there's no upper limit. We fuel entire NHL teams, um, like the Detroit Red Wings, and they put 75 of these in their smoothie before a game because they want lots of energy on the ice. And they put wow. 75 of these, the chlorella, um, uh, in their smoothie after the game because it pulls out l- wow. lactic acid. So yeah. their muscles aren't sore and it builds their immune system. This has everything, chlorella has everything that your immune system needs. Your immune system is there to protect you from viruses and virtually anything, but it needs particular nutrients to be able to create those T cells and B cells and killer cells and macrophages, and they're all in the chlorella. Um, That's why this has been used for all gut issues because it feeds your gut biome, the fiber, the detox, the chlorophyll, very, very nourishing. Um, so this is a energizing spirulina, energizing algae. Chlorella is a uh, is a healing and wellness algae. Uh, and you can take either of them um, by themselves, uh, with food, instead of food, before or after. There is no no you know, no particular way that you have to take them. God bless Mother Nature. She put this gorgeous blend of nutrients together for us. All we do is grow it carefully in triple filtered spring mountain water. We do not use high heat to dry it into these little tablets. This will be very important when we talk about the mitochondria. Okay. Almost every other algae company uses high heat to dry their algae. And what does high heat do? It kills enzymes. Yeah, and you're going to find out in a minute, there's a very important enzyme called superoxide dismutase that is one of the few enzymes that protects your mitochondria from free radical damage. And everybody else's superoxide dismutase. I know it's a mouthful. Uh, it's also known as SOD. Um, everybody else's is dead and ours is alive. So, yes. so, um, but again, I want to reemphasize how effortless and easy they are to take. And I even designed really fun, um, canisters that come with a bag inside them. So when you, uh, when you get the canister, you open the bag, put them inside the canister, and then there's a little opening. See, there's a little opening. Oh, so you just yeah. take your tablets out. Shake it out. I, yeah, I, I saw that at the conference. Like people were like, shake me out. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I have these on my countertop and it's it 
You don't have to refrigerate them. Not, and they're so beautiful. And by the way, we have two versions of spirulina. And I want to explain why we have two. Yes. One is energy bits and one is beauty bits. I started the company because my sister had breast cancer. And, and fortunately, 12 years later, she's still you know, cancer free. So women's health has always been a, my motivator. <laughs> and when I started the company, I noticed women weren't buying the spirulina. They were buying the chlorella. And my girlfriends literally said, well, you need to make it pink and give it a cute name. So because it has more collagen than collagen powder and the highest concentration of antioxidants that protect your skin, um, it does improve your skin beauty and your hair. So I made a second version in honor of my sister and called it Beauty Bits, but Aww. they are absolutely identical. Okay. Um, I just want women to feel happy. I mean, they're, it's so happy. This is the one I have on my countertop. It makes me feel happy when I just look at it. Yeah, so I want no, that's happy because if I can get this this algae into your body, it will know what to do. So anyway, so I design everything, and, that, and um, people love the canisters. They're, yeah, yeah. You, you know what? On our website at energybits.com. <laughs> uh, this just makes me think of I I, I started talking to a, a, a young woman a couple of days ago who uh, out of nowhere has acne like I have like I have never seen in my life. Like yeah. she's, you know, she's married. She has a couple of kids. But she's young. She's in her early 30s. She's absolutely beautiful. But her face literally has eruptions. Uh, yeah. The eruptions doesn't even begin wow. to cover. It is, it is literally the worst acne I've ever wow. seen. And 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 I have written for medical journals on acne. Okay. Yeah. So but when I looked at her, like the, the first things that come to my mind is, oh, my God, you have a toxin problem, number one, or and or a, a gut problem yeah, and or, you know, a hormone issue. But I guarantee you that it's probably some combination yeah. of the three. And so and she said, you know, she's tried elimination diets. She can't figure out what is the underlying she doesn't want to go on Accutane because she wants to figure out yeah what is the culprit she knows there right. has to be one yeah and you know I just I feel like this is you know this something is, she can do absolutely, easily absolutely. and and when you are trying to correct a condition it doesn't matter whether it's cancer a skin issue like this digestion we strongly recommend you double or triple the amount that you take for at least, you know, four to six weeks to get that condition under control. It's so funny that you mentioned it. Well, not funny, but um, I take a Pilates class and I've been taking this from this instructor for years and I hadn't seen her for a couple of months. And when I went to her class a couple of months ago, same thing. Her face was just a mess. It, it, it looked, she looked, it, it, I've never seen any kind of acne that bad. And after the class, I went up to her and I said, what's going on with your skin? And she said, I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. Exactly. So, yes, exactly. And she's probably in, you know, late twenties, early thirties. Um, nothing else has changed. She did get COVID. She doesn't know whether this is her body react. I don't know. Anyways, I got her on the spirulina and the chlorella. Her skin is almost within, a, it's taken a month because your skin has a cycle and right. it takes, I think 26 days for your skin to regenerate. So it's not going to happen overnight, but within She's 75% back to normal. And I'm so relieved wow. because, um, it, and, and I'll, when we get into the mitochondria, um, you'll start to understand why this is so healing. And it's at the cellular level and at the blood level, because when, you're, when your blood is healthy and it's nourishing the cells and the cells in the mitochondria are protected, then your body can um can ex excel it can do what it's meant to do it's when it's um uh, fighting these uh conditions whether they were due to hormonal unbalance uh, mitochondrial uh disease or toxicity the algae does everything for you and and again it's food and because you can swallow them and you can take them with you everywhere you go um it makes it effortless and it's not a drug and it's not invasive and, and by the way, you may be taking it for your skin, but I promise your digestion will improve, your energy will improve, um, uh, you'll, you'll correct lots of conditions that you may not even have been aware of. Our bodies are so interconnected 
And the problem is our medical society or medical co uh, community is is so divided. They only focus. It's like that reminds me of that image of a you know there's an elephant and people have blindfolds on them and they got their hands on different parts of the elephant and they only the medical community only sees a particular segment and so that those are the only offers that they give you when you're talking holistic mm -hmm. everything is connected it's like we're also all connected to nature so i that's why i love algae so much it's just it's from nature and we're from nature and so it's it's probably the most um a natural thing to give your body and when you're going to when i get into the mitochondria you'll find out that we actually are from algae we like yes yeah i i love I love your emphasis on connected because that, that's actually the name of my newsletter. Uh, oh, nice. Connected because that's how I feel too. Like yeah. everything is connected. Exactly. And 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 I also I always lament that uh, physician specialization is is probably one of the worst things that ever happened. Oh man. You know because they, you know, uh, unless they're part of a multidisciplinary team, which you know there's a lot of institutions that have um, done that, which is which is awesome where, you know, they work together on a patient and they talk, talk through it. But if you're not in an area that does that, it's, it's so hard because they really only know, you know, their one system. I know. Well, and so what happens is their entire emphasis is on the symptoms and anybody who's done any kind of holistic healing knows that the symptoms are rarely where the problem exists. It's just where it's manifesting. You could have a brain issue and it's manifesting in your gut or vice versa. And if you don't take a holistic approach, you don't get the big picture and you're constantly putting out fires and you don't, you're, you're never winning. So yes. um, algae is very holistic. It will embrace every aspect of your health and mental, emotional, uh, spiritual. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Sure. So, so let's get into that mitochondria. Yes, that's, that's where the action is, man. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, go for it, Catherine. So let me help you understand what mitochondria are. They're they're little organ. They're called organelles, and they're in all of your cells, and they generate cellular energy. And what do I mean by that? This is the energy that you <clears throat> need for breathing, for walking, for talking, for sitting, for digesting, for sleeping. It's everything. So and the then the and so your your body, you give your body food and your mitochondria convert that food into something called ATP, which is the type of energy. So think of ATP as the equivalent of electricity in your house. And while we're on the topic of electricity, think of your body as a uh, big uh, skyscraper, okay? And in the skyscraper are offices. Think of those offices as your cells, because there's things that go on in the, each of those offices, just like in each of your cells, there are activities. Now, the thing that keeps the offices active are lights. You can't work in the dark. And in your cells, the thing that keeps things active are your mitochondria. So as you, when you're first born, your building is brand new. The offices are clean. You've got lots of lights. Uh, everything is working, but as the building gets older and the maintenance people start leaving and there's fewer activities in the offices, when the lights start uh, going out, nobody replaces them. And as you get older, you have fewer lights, fewer mitochondria, or the lights are damaged. They're not showing as much light. It gets harder and harder and harder for you to live or to function or to be healthy. That's because your mitochondria, the lights in your building, have gone off. I'm going to show you how to turn those lights back on, and it's actually quite simple. And it requires you to protect your mitochondria from free radical damage and, um, and to build more mitochondria. So how do we do that? Well, let me explain to you what's going on in your cells first. Here's your cell, okay? And in your cell, you have your nucleus. There's 25,000 of these. This is your DNA. And you have these little peanut-shaped things called mitochondria. This is where your ATP is produced. So let's take a closer look at that mitochondria. Inside is where the ATP is produced. But what people don't tell you very often is that when you create ATP, there's a byproduct. It's called free radicals. Think of free radicals as sparks. And if you've ever sat near a bonfire or a fireplace and you got too close, you would get hit with sparks, right? And they can burn you. 
Well, your mitochondria DNA, you have your regular DNA, but your mitochondria have their own DNA. The DNA is located exactly where the ATP is produced, which is exactly where the free radicals are produced. So your mitochondria DNA are literally getting burnt every nanosecond. Now, when you're, it turns out that your mitochondria DNA, there's only 37 of them, control everything. They control your regular DNA. They control the communication on your cell walls. So, so think of your mitochondria DNA like air controllers at an airport. The air controllers control everything. The plane's coming in, plane's going out. And if they're sick or damaged, your planes would crash. Well, when your mitochondria DNA are sick, your health crashes. It's just that simple. So we need to find a way to protect your mitochondria DNA from getting, stop the free radical damage. Because when you eat, it's, and when you breathe, there's just free radical damage all the time. So there's two ways to stop the free radical damage. First one costs you nothing. Here's what's happening. When you eat carbs, sugar especially, white processed carbs of any kind, massive amounts of free radical free radicals. So that is huge in terms of damaging your mitochondria. It does terrible things too, like increases inflammation and increases your insulin spikes. Now, when you go on a keto diet, which has virtually no carbs or very few carbs, there are fewer free radicals being produced. And that costs you nothing, nothing. You can save half of your mitochondria just by that. But an even better thing is fasting, either intermittent fasting or long-term fasting, and algae. Because both of these have virtually zero free radicals. Now, fasting costs you nothing. Algae is not free, but it's very efficient nutrition, so you get your money's worth. But that right there is 50% of the battle. Reducing your carb load because it's so damaging for your mitochondria. So that's number one. Number two, what you need to do is find a way to remove the free radicals. So even if you didn't change your diet, we still have to find a way to get rid of the free radicals. Now, here's the problem. We all know about antioxidants, you know, blueberries, and those are, tr are traditional for uh, removing free radicals. Now, maybe I'll step back and explain what a free radical is. It's an, it's an, uh, an, um, an atom that has uh, inside you have protons in your, in your uh, atom and you have electrons on the outside. Now, normally there's an equal number of electrons and that's, that stabilizes the atom. But through free radical damage, one of those electrons gets uh, stolen. And so now that it's a, it becomes a free radical and now it steals another atom from another, uh, um, from another molecule and then another one and another one. So it causes da free radicals damage your tissue. Think of it as rusting from the inside. If you've ever seen a boat or a car that's been abandoned in a, on a, you know, out in the country and there's big rusty holes, that's oxidation. That's oxygen that's causing the damage. It's oxidative stress. Free radicals cause oxidative stress. Think of your body rusting from the inside. All of those free radicals here, rusting. You are rusting from the inside. Now, because if you get the visual of what's going on, it will help you understand how to stop it. So normally, uh, antioxidants would stop the free radical damage because what they do is they donate a, an extra electron and stabilize. So, right. it, so it's, you know, it's like having a, you know, a hyperactive child that wants an extra dessert and you give them the extra dessert or whatever. And then that, now they're calm. So when you give them the electron, they calm down. But the problem is the, none of those antioxidants can get into the mitochondria to stop the free radical damage. And here's why. All of our cells, remember I said earlier, they're made of lipids, they're made of fats. And those fats um, allow um, proteins and antioxidants in and out because they have these things, they're called porins. They're little, they're little channels that allow things in and out. So, that, so there is that around the mitochondria. But your mitochondria have a second inner membrane that is impenetrable. There are no antioxidants that can get in there. So you I mean you can eat a room full of blueberries and not a drop 
will make their way into this inner membrane other than four. There are four antioxidants that can get into that inner membrane and stop the free radical damage. And what are they? Glutathione, melatonin, superoxide dismutase, and chlorophyll. Those four antioxidants are the only ones that can get into your inner membrane uh, of your mitochondria to stop free radical damage. Now, the good news is your body makes glutathione, melatonin, superoxide dismutase, and mitochondria, and you have them when you're born. Da 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 da. You're having, you know, when you're 10, 20, 30, lots of energy. This is why, because your mitochondria are constantly being protected from free radical damage. That's why teenagers can stay out till three and then get up at five, although they never would, uh, and do it all again. But oh, yeah. yeah. But all those of us that are not 30 any longer, we can't. And here's why, because you do not have the protection any longer that they have, that we all had when we were young. Right. And so instead, all those antioxidants are decreasing and your inflammation is increasing. The problem is glutathione, melatonin, superoxide, dismutase, and chlorophyll are not available in food. It just, they just don't, ex they're in such minuscule amounts that it's impossible. So now your body's not making them and you aren't getting them from food. And they even found that if, in supplements, it, it all gets uh, damaged in, in digestion. And here's why you need them. All of those nutrients, I talk about superoxide dismutase, but all of those antioxidants, they literally put out the fire of the free radicals. Again, think of those free radicals as sparks flying out from a fire. And, you, and they, it happens because you're generating ATP. But you can generate ATP and put out the fire so that your, your mitochondria DNA aren't damaged. And here's the exciting thing. Algae has all four antioxidants so that it, you can stop that downward spiral and flatline your inflammation. You can get all of the antioxidants in there to stop the damage um, instantly. Literally, in this is one of those points that I didn't know. And when I started reading that they that it that the algae has all of that, the chlorophyll, I, I was I was blown. I don't think anybody knows. In fact, I didn't even know myself to be perfectly honest about four months ago because I was reading more and more about melatonin, which does way more than help you sleep. It's a it's an antioxidant. So I thought, yes. I'm just going to test, go get some lab tests and get some, see if we got any melatonin. I honestly didn't know. And the lab test came back and the concentrations were so high. I said, this can't be right. Do the test again. That is insane. Oh came my back. gosh. I have all the lab tests. We have the highest glutathione, highest melatonin, highest superoxide dismutase. I always knew we had the highest chlorophyll, but now it makes complete sense why algae gives you energy. Because now when you are reducing the number of free radicals and you are stopping the damage because the antioxidants can, can neutralize the, the, the free radicals, now your mitochondria can start growing again. Now they can divide in a healthy way. By the way, if you ever doubted whether this was an important fact, let me tell you, your brain, in your brain, you have 2 million mitochondria per cell. Think about that. 2 million mitochondria per cell. They're realizing Alzheimer's is a mitochondria dysfunction. So we've had people who had terrible dementia who would write us and say, you know, they were so bad they couldn't even get them, figure out how to make the microwave work. After two days of spirulina in particular, although they were taking both of them, their brain fog cleared up two days. This is non-invasive, non, no misprescription, just food. But it's because your brain, the highest concentration of mitochondria is where the highest energy needs are. So your brain is number one. Ladies, if you're having difficulty with fertility, the second highest number of mitochondria are in women's eggs. Yep. 600,000 yep. mitochondria per cell in your eggs. So this is one of the answers, not only when you're trying to get pregnant, but when you are pregnant and, you know, for breastfeeding for every, every moment after that, the third highest concentration is in your heart. It's up to 7,000 mitochondria per cell in your heart. And after your heart, it's every, all your organs, 
and your muscles that have about 5,000. Now your skin actually has fewer, but even still, um, this is why when I gave the algae, both of them to my um, Pilates instructor and hopefully for your client, your skin is being nourished by blood. And so if your blood is full of, nutri of nutrients and the antioxidants are protecting this, the mitochondria in your skin, it, it, the, your skin and your body will just be restored naturally yes. from, from all this great, you know, like you said, everything's connected. I mean, it yeah. just it just tends to travel. I did know the brain thing because I'm I'm a I'm a brain person, so I talk I talk about the brain all the time. I'm a brain centric instructional designer as well, and I also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the podcast, I'm very much into understanding mitochondrial dysfunction uh, because I'm very aware of the connection to Alzheimer's dementia in general. Um, because I'm one of those people uh, that has every risk factor known to man for Alzheimer's. Like, yeah. you know, I get that. I get those tests back and they're like, you're genetically a time bomb for Alzheimer's. Oh, so, you know, so, but, but you yeah. know, it's epigenetics. It, it, you can turn those genes on or exactly. off depending on how you live your life. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so now I'm very much trying to make people aware of fix and protect your mitochondria because that's just, it's going to bleed over into everything and everything. And, and as we were saying, like, you know, the key today is a healthy immune system. Yeah. And, and, you know, we can't, we can't prevent any future viruses from coming along or future diseases. But what, what we can do is prepare our immune systems. Exactly. And if you have a strong immune system, you, you know, you'll either not get sick or you, it will be very mild. Um, and, you know, but I, I just, I'm going to show you one more thing about this, the um, algae and why it is so perfectly suited to provide your mitochondria with absolutely everything it needs. Um, and, and, and therefore when your mitochondria are healthy, you are healthy. It's, it's really, it's a direct route. They're directly connected. There's, um, 50,000 studies that have been done just on superoxide dismutase alone that shows it stopped cancer, stopped Alzheimer's. So the fact that algae has the highest concentration of this superoxide dismutase, you know, I don't really need to say much more. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So anyways, remember I mentioned at the very beginning that before uh, algae life, earth was just gas and water and this single cell started growing. Well, it was a cyanobacteria like spirulina. Right. And it was a anaerobic cell because remember there was no oxygen on earth. So this little cells, these cells started growing and they generated ATP and they released oxygen uh, as a function of the ATP. This is where the, you know, the um, uh, rusting issue comes up. So right. after about a billion years, there was enough oxygen on Earth that aerobic cells, which were larger, could now start um, surviving and growing. But they didn't generate ATP as well. Meanwhile, the little cell that was anaerobic was struggling because now there was so much oxygen on Earth, but it was did better when there was no oxygen. So I can imagine the conversation, the big cell says to the little cell, hey, little guy, I see you're struggling there and we, we, we could use some help with our ATP. So how about we join forces? You come and hang out with us. We'll protect you from the oxygen and you can generate ATP for us. So, and this is all proven, by the way, in, in the evolutionary biology. It's called endosymbiotic theory. This is a graphic to show you. So here's the little cell, a, a cyanobacteria like spirulina. Remember I said spirulina is a bacteria. It's by itself. Then the big cell engulfs it, but instead of you know, digesting it, it said, why don't you come and hang out with us and stay with us? And that became mitochondria. I love that. Algae story. became mitochondria. So this explains everything. This explains why yes. algae has everything that your mitochondria need, why it has the four nutrients that can get into that inner cell. That inner cell is a remnant of this when it was by itself. It's still there. Then when it got engulfed, the, then there was a, another cell membrane put around it, but it's still there. It didn't disappear. But that's why nothing except what's in the algae can get in there because it is from algae. It's like, it's like meeting your, your long lost twin. Yeah. There's this, 
It's family. Algae is family to yes. mitochondria. <laughs> I love it. It, it. I mean, it does. It explains everything. It explains everything. Yes. It's, it's just I get I get so excited just even talking about it again because I I just need people to understand that it, because this is so natural. It's first. It's got to. You got to think something spiritual. First life on Earth, and it's still here. I'm just the voice of algae. I can't take any credit for algae. That's Mother Nature or God or whoever you want to, you know, give it, attribute it to. But it's here for a reason. And it's being discovered now for a reason because we are desperate. The number of heart, the heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, it is not flatlining. It is going up. And our inflammation and our, and our health issues and our, eco, our ecosystem is also in, in a state of crisis. Algae is the most eco-friendly, sustainable crop in the world. It protects our oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the streams, it protects everything. So um, I was on a podcast recently and the, the podcaster said, this is urgent. We, we have to get this, the news about this out there because we are in a crisis and the, we've got to look after our health in a holistic way using the tools that have been provided to us by mother nature. And the thing is with algae, you know, until I came along, it was pretty, you know, boring or um, weird. <laughs> people thought it was weird. And I just had to help people. That's why I designed all this packaging to make it more it's easy. More to, sexy. You know, I, had yes. to, I gave algae a makeover, but yeah. I, but algae has been, you know, I didn't touch the algae itself. It's, it's remarkable. And, because it comes in these tablets, it's effortless. You know, for, you have children give them one or two for their age. If they're four, give them two to four a day. If they're six, give them th anywhere between three and six. We have, I've had you know, eighteen month children eating like a hundred of these things. They love the chlorella. So again, there's no upper limit, no medicine, no no prescription. You your life will change. I you know I um, I've been telling people my age because I just want you to understand. Like I'm sixty six. So I'm not any 20 or 30 year old, and yet I sleep well, I digest well, I have zero wrinkles, I've had no Botox. Um, I am the result of algae. <laughs> and you have more energy than any person that I've met in quite some time. Like, And I can attest to that too, because at the conference you were like, you were just here, there and everywhere. And yes, yeah. Well, I really want people to benefit from this. and. Even if you just come to our website, energybits.com, to read about it, uh, we, we write a blog all um, every month. So there's lots of science. And we have a 20% discount code, Autobiology. Yay. That will give you 20% off of anything on our website. Anytime. Thank you so much, Catherine. Well, well, thank you. And, and remember, the spirulina, which is the one that's energizing, it's the, the two um, energy bits or, or beauty bits. Then the chlorella is the one that is uh, a wellness detox algae. And then we have another brand um, that's a blend of the two algae called Vitality Bits. So it's got the two. Um, but And it's all explained on the website. But trust me, um, if we can get, just get more people taking this, it's good for you. It's good for the planet. Um, you may take it for your skin, but you'll find out you have more energy or vice versa. Um, any age from newborns to grandparents um, and pets too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, I feel like this is this is the answer to how do I start turning my health around? Yeah. I, you know, it's the easiest, most direct way, the safest way that I have heard of. Um, this is amazing, Catherine. Mm -hmm. You are such, you know, you are such a vibrant passionate person about this. And, you know, I mean, definitely I'm going to do all I can to get your message out. Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm going to scream it from the rooftops too, because like I said, there's a number one question that I get is how, how do I do this, but how do I do it easily? And, and yeah. this satisfies all of that. Checks your, all the boxes. <laughs> your analogies are amazing. I just as an instructional designer myself, I teach all the time and I teach through analogies and you know, you're just, I love the way you explain this. I do have to say, I went through your website. Your website is amazing. Oh, it has a ton of information. It is a great resource for anybody who wants to understand more about this, who wants to read about the science, um, you know, that Catherine has 
uh, you know, brought together, you know, all in one place to really explain everything succinctly. You have a great site. So oh, I, I thank you. Thank you. I, I'm the creative director, so I, I design everything, including the website. But I, I'm just very motivated to help people be healthy. And I just want to assure you that algae isn't new. It's just new to you. And so um, just take a little bit of time to do some research. Come to our website. You know, go wherever you need to. Um, but it is going to change the world. It's way bigger and better for you than collagen powder, CBD, um, anything that's out there. It, uh, it's straight from Mother Nature. Ours is a raw food. Again, we have all the enzymes intact. Um, you can't go wrong. Instead of saying, why would you take algae? I would say, why wouldn't you? <laughs> exactly. All right. Great. Catherine, um, just uh, remind everybody if they, they want to follow you, learn more about you. Um, what is the best way to do that? Yes, our website is energybits.com, E-N-E-R-G-Y-B-I-T-S. And we're very active on social media. Um, the main handle is at energybits. So it's uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. But we have a um, Beauty Bits has their own uh, um, Instagram handle. It's uh, Beauty Bits. So okay. uh, she's very girly, very cute and playful. Right. Um, energy Bits is a bit more science and, and uh, general health. So gotcha. come, and, come and visit us, hang out with us. Um, yes. And you can always buy just a sample pack on our website. We also sell on Amazon in case you're wanting to try a smaller um, packet of uh, to just try them out. So they're $6 for a, a single pouch of 30 tablets. So yep. try to take 10 a day. More is better. If you want to start with five, that's okay too. And one last thing is um, just so you know, uh, I don't want people to have sticker shock. The um, the large bags, which are are your best value, there's a thousand tablets in a bag. Now I used the quote from NASA that said one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of vegetables. So I did the math and figured out there's uh, an equivalent uh, amount of nutrition of 551 pounds of vegetables in here, <laughs> 551 pounds. So wow, that's 551 pounds of vegetables that you didn't have to drag home from the grocery store, stuff in your fridge. Cook. Cook, no cooking, grow out, right? Right. So it's efficient nutrition, and it never goes bad. I mean, we put an expiry date on it, but you know, for three years, but it will never go bad. So, very efficient nutrition. Um, so, I just want you to understand that because the bag is one hundred twenty-five dollars. I don't want you to have sticker shock. With the discount, it brings it down to a hundred. But if you bought five hundred fifty-one pounds of vegetables, that'd be closer to fifteen hundred dollars. Wow. So that's that's I, amazing. I couldn't live without it. I just tell you that right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Right. <laughs> Remember, everybody, autobiology gets you 20% off. And um, thanks again, Catherine, so Thank much. You. This has been amazing. Have, have so a much. wonderful rest of your day. You too. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye, Jennifer. Bye.